Hello and welcome to today's video where we're going to be looking at rule 22 which is the visibility of lights. We're going to break it down to put it in a simple table and then we're going to explore the implications of this rule. So rule 22 visibility of lights. The lights prescribed in these rules shall have an intensity as specified in section 8 of annex 1 we're not actually going to go through that, we just need to know, you can look in the annex to see the intensities. But what we need is for them to be visible at the following minimum ranges. Now again, we're not going to go through every one of these in detail. We're just going to look, you can see each section covers the masthead light, the side light, the stern light, the towing light, and a white, red, green or yellow all round light. And these same lights will appear in all the paragraphs of the rule. Of course, each paragraph talks about a different length. With this bottom one, we're looking at vessels less than 12 metres. This middle one, we're between 12 and 50 metres, but it changes the masthead light if you're less than 20, so between 12 and 20 metres. And then finally, vessels more than 50 metres is covered in this first paragraph. So instead of just memorising the text, let's move over and put it all in a table. Up the top of the table here, I've just got the lengths of the vessels. So we've broken it down into those different paragraphs. So length greater than 50, length between 50 and 12 metres is covered in these two boxes, with that separation there at 20 metres for the masthead light. And then the final column here is vessels less than 12 metres. And then each of the rows we're just looking at the masthead light range, the side lights, stern lights, towing lights and all round lights. So we can start off with the biggest one. Vessels greater than 50 metres, their masthead light needs to be visible at 6 miles. This is going to be the largest range on the table. And this makes sense because you want to see large vessels if they're coming towards you from the greatest range. Then the side lights, stern lights, towing lights and all round lights are all going to be half of that length. So vessels greater than 50 metres, we're looking at 3 miles range for all four of those different lights. The next one, for the length less than 50 metres, of course the masthead light needs to be less than it was before, so we're looking at 5 miles, it's a mile less than the biggest vessels. But if that vessel is less than 20 metres, that drops again down to 3 miles. You can remember this because this is the same range as the side lights, stern lights, towing lights and all round lights of those largest vessels. Now for vessels between 50 and 12 metres, all the, light, all the other lights are going to be the same. So side lights, stern lights, towing lights and all round lights, they're all going to have to be less than both of those masthead light ranges, but still not the minimum. So of course they're going to be two miles. It's less than that three mile range, but there's still space below it for the smallest vessels. And now for the smallest vessels, the ones less than 12 metres, the masthead light, again, we've got to have a decent range on it, but it's got to be less than the other ranges. So it's going to be 2 miles, which is the same as the side lights, stern lights, towing lights and all round lights of the range above. Side lights, of course, are going to be less than that masthead light, and the only number less than that is 1 mile. But here's the difference for these. The stern lights, towing lights and all round lights are still going to maintain that slightly larger range of 2 miles. The reason for this is if you're approaching the vessel from a different side, you still want to see it at a reasonable distance because you're not going to be able to see that masthead light, which has got that range of two miles. So let's look at the implications of this rule. If we take this vessel here, we'll say it's a large vessel, so we'll pop the lights on it, and we're approaching it from ahead. We should see it at six miles, because that's the range of its masthead light. So we're getting closer, so we're looking at three miles. This is when we should see its side lights. So until then, we might not be able to see the side lights. Of course, if we're approaching it from a stern, then we would see all the lights at the same range of 3 miles. That's fine, because in theory, the vessel should still be moving away from us. If we now drop down to this smallest size vessel, we can see the masthead light should be visible at 2 miles. If you're approaching it from this direction, that's the minimum range you should see it. And if you move round to the other side of the vessel, you should see it, again, at 2 miles. The implication of this is that this rule is saying that at night, the minimum range you should be able to see the lights of any vessel is at least two miles. So my question for today, which you can discuss in the comments below, 
is can you use these ranges to define a specific range of restricted visibility? For example, if you cannot see a small vessel at two miles range, are you in restricted visibility? Likewise, if you cannot see a large vessel at six miles range, are you in restricted visibility? And that brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully you found the information useful. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.